Good morning, children. My name is Teacher RV, and for today, we will learn how to fill out forms accurately, specifically the school forms, deposit slips, and withdrawal slips. So in this lesson, you will be able to fill out the forms accurately, and I hope that we will appreciate the importance of filling out the forms accurately. So everybody is welcome here in my class. Now, let's begin with what you already know. So, this activity is what you can see also in your module. So, the directions given, you're going to fill out the form below and complete it by using the possible answers found inside the box. So, use the form provided to you. So, we have the following options. We have Royce L. Cabrera, male, Miss Rina B. Makaraig, Grade 5 Maagap, December 25, 2010, Katbalogan City, Samar, San Roque Elementary School, Philippines, and 10. So the student personal information, you are going to fill in the name of the student, the grade in section, age, the sex, the teacher, address, birthday, country, and school. So if we're going to answer it, the student's name is Royce L. Cabrera. How about the grade and section? So the grade and section is located here. We have grade 5, Maaga. And next, how old is Royce L. Cabrera? He is 10 years old. How about the sex? He is a male. And the teacher of Royce L. Cabrera is... Miss Rina B. Makaraig. The address of Royce is in Katbalogan City, Samar. And his birthday is on December 25, 2010. Country, it's the Philippines. And school is San Roque Elementary School. Okay. So aside from the school forms, we will also be tackling the deposit slip and the withdrawal slip. Now, what is a deposit slip? A deposit slip is a small paper uh, form that a person includes with a bank deposit to show how much money he or she is putting in a bank account. It contains the deposit date, the name, and bank account number of the depositor. So in the amount to be deposited in the form of checks or cash and the signature also of the depositor. So specifically, a person who deposits or places money in the bank account is called a depositor. Let's take a look. How to fill out a deposit slip? So I have here an example of a deposit slip. So from Metro Bank, I just got this from uh, Google. So first, we have to write our name and the bank account number. So it is located here. So account name, you are going to write first name first and then followed by your surname. And then the account number. And then supply the additional details such as transaction date and any branch re uh, information required. And list the cash amount breakdown of your deposit and the total amount thereafter. And right after that, you're going to affix your signature over printed name found on the lower part of the form. So here it is. So in this part, there you can see the cash denomination breakdown. So what does it mean? For example, you are going to deposit the total amount of 500,000 pesos. Okay, you're going to look at your money and see what are the denominations. So in this example, the depositor has 1,000 peso bills. Okay? That's the denomination. And then the number of pieces of 1,000 peso bills that he has is 500 pieces. If you're going to multiply it, that will be 500,000 pesos in total. Okay? And do not forget also to check the following. So if you have here uh, collection item, bills purchase, whatever it is, okay, just a check. Okay? Or a deposit, that's check. And then here, uh, if you're going to deposit a check, Okay, but since uh, we are after the cash deposit slip, so this is the focus of our lesson for today. And please do not forget to affix your signature and the date today. Okay, so that's how we fill out a deposit slip. And next, 
if we have a deposit slip, we can also have a withdrawal slip. So a withdrawal slip is a small paper form which has to be filled out before making a withdrawal of money from a bank. After filling out the bank slip, a person signs on it in the presence of a bank teller. A bank teller is an employee of the bank whose job is to help bank customers with their banking needs such as depositing checks or cash or making a withdrawal. So here's the sample of a withdrawal slip. So I have here a BDO withdrawal slip. So I also got this from the internet. Okay, so how to fill out a withdrawal slip? First, we have to write our name and the date today. So let's see if it has done it. So your name must be here in the account name. The example given, Ricardo Delisay, okay? Or sometimes it's not your name alone, but you can also have your business name or company name, okay? And then write the desired amount of your withdrawal in words and in figures, okay? Uh, you're going to write how much are you going to get or withdraw. So you're going to withdraw, example, 5,000 pesos. Okay, write it in figures, when say in figures and numbers. And then in words, you're going to spell it out. Okay, and then don't forget to write your account number. And then here, you don't have to write anything here because this blank space here is reserved for the printing of the withdrawal transaction details to be done by the BDO teller or employee or by the bank employee. And here is your signature as account holder and if there's a chance that you will be sending a representative to withdraw your money. This is where he is going to sign and write his name. Okay, do not write anything here because the teller will be the one to fill this out. Okay, the cash breakdown. Okay, in withdrawal, we do not uh, fill in or write anything in the cash breakdown because it is the teller's job. But in the deposit slip, we are going to fill the cash breakdown. Okay. And then, do not forget your signature just like what I mentioned. And you have to sign uh, the withdrawal slip, okay, which can be witnessed by the bank teller. Okay, so let's do this. Let's try. So I have here an example of an information sheet for a student like you. So we have Alfonso F. Reyes Jr. So he's the only son of Alfonso C. Reyes Sr., an electrician, and Karen F. Reyes, a nurse, who are both Filipinos. So they are residents of Lot 4, Block 6, Sunshine Village, Banicaroja City, Capiz, with a zip code of 5800. Their phone number is 67891 So Alfonso was born on May 17, 2010, in Roja City, Capiz. He is now 10 years old. So please fill out the information sheet. So you have there... For your practice, write the name, last name first or surname, and then followed by the first name and middle initial. When you say middle initial, it's the beginning letter only, okay? When you say middle name, you have to spell out your middle name. And then citizenship, nationality, date of birth, sex, place of birth, home address, the zip code, telephone number, name of his father, the occupation, name of his mother, occupation, and the signature over printed name, and the date today. Another practice for you, another practice is for the withdrawal slip. So I have here, uh, this is where you're going to get your answer. So we have savings account, Jenny B. Sanchez, 6,568 pesos. And then here is written in words, in the account number and the date. Okay, so you have to write the date. Okay, what's the currency? Are you going to withdraw peso or dollar? Okay, type of account. Is it a savings account or current account? Then provide the account number, account name, amount in words, just like what I taught you, and the amount in figures, and do not forget to affix the signature. And for our cash deposit slips, this one will be our option. So, same info, but we have here the breakdown or the cash breakdown. And you know already what to do. So, the denominations we're already written, you are just going to write how many pieces and what's the total amount. Okay, another student information sheet. 
for your practice is very easy and this will be very personal. So, for your practice, write your last name, your first name, and your middle name, your grade and section, your LRN or learner's uh, reference number, you know it also, and your birth date, your age, your sex, and the complete address, and the, your father's name, mother's name, and their contact number. And please do not forget to write your name or your uh, signature over to affix your signature over printed name.